Hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wrap this mirror in rose gold chrome today. We're using a Vivid product. This is Vivid's new color, uh, rose gold chrome. Uh, also a brand new chrome as far as the finish goes, super clear. Amazing quality, stretches really nicely, super thin. Uh, doesn't damage easily, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so really easy to use. I'm going to show you how to do that, or how to install this mirror without pretty much using any heat. Um, I say the temperature in here right now is about 74, 75 degrees. Uh, for my Canadian friends, roughly 20 or so. Uh, all right, so what I've done here is I've masked off the light. I've prepped the surface with isopropyl alcohol. I've masked off the light using uh, blue masking tape or blue painter's tape, and I've trimmed off the excess just on the bottom side of this edge. I've, dis I've, I've basically dismantled this mirror so that it's just the area that we're wrapping. So I've taken off the black face that goes around the front and the black cap that goes around the bottom. Now, I've also done an inlay on the inside here. So if Andrew wants to follow around right here, I'll show you the inlay that we've done. So we've done a rose gold chrome inlay right there and we've done the knifeless tape so that's ready to go. So we wanna make sure that's all ready to go. And we're gonna start wrapping this mirror. So Vivid's chrome comes with a protective cap. We're gonna remove that cap because we won't be able to stretch it. And this may take more than one try. I've already done one video and I screwed it up. So here's another one. And we're gonna go for try number two here. So we have to make sure we have full coverage as always. And we also have to make sure that we're stretching the film evenly enough. So I just put the mirror back because I've been having issues with it moving. I'm gonna try and stretch a bit this way. Actually, I'll, I'll do this stretch afterwards. I found that it worked better to do it this way. This is a trial and error process. This is a mirror and this is in chrome. So we, don't, we may not get this right away. And it's just figuring it out for the most part. So we need to contour this film top and bottom as much as we can without damaging the film. Okay. So you can see the stretch on the top. how important it is to get this top area down and around like that. We need it to contour this way and underneath slightly because we do have some to wrap underneath. There's the light right there, but we do have some white underneath it. So always looking ahead, making sure that we know the, all the areas that we need to cover with the film. Now, I'm just gonna put some of this down right now, but it'll probably pull back slightly until I post heat it. Let's move around to the other side now. This mirror is giving me trouble because it's, it likes to move a lot. So, let's get this down. I'm just using my fingers, guys. So this mirror is gonna have to go back. I already know that. And I'm gonna have to stretch it this way. Okay. No heat. Again, I haven't used any heat yet. Now we're look, we look really good on the top here. We have very little slack. It's exactly what we want. We need to figure out what's gonna go on with the bottom because we haven't actually contoured the film around enough on the bottom. Okay. So again, I'm just using my fingers. And what I need to do here is put a little slice this is one of the reasons why we've masked off the light. So I can now bring this film in. Let's see the technique guys. This is, these are things that you just kind of have to figure out as you go along. Because I had so much slack here, I was going to have all these wrinkles here. Luckily there was a light there to help us uh, alleviate some of that slack and bring it upwards towards the light. Now here's the bottom of the mirror cap right there. So that's perfect. It's exactly where we want it. We don't have any damage on the film. Okay. I'm going to look underneath just to make sure to see where the bottom is. Wrong side of the squeegee. All right. So now we can take this and bend it back a bit. And what I need to do is still contour it around here. That's a huge pain in the ass.
Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to help me get rid of some of the slack. But for the most part, you can see a lot of the stretching that I've done has been done without using a heat gun at all. So I'm just gonna hit it and soften it up a bit more. Keep the heat gun moving when you're using chrome. Always gotta keep it moving. Okay, I'm just gonna stretch that out a bit. You gotta read the wrinkles. It's not working right now, hold on. Bring the mirror cap back. There's this fine line where it sits flush with the base. This is where I need it. Bottom, we should be able to make it now. Perfect. And use the hard edge of the squeegee on the very bottom. Okay, I'm going to trim this off because now if I move it, what I do my blades right here. If I move the mirror, I'm going to ruin all the hard work we've done on the bottom here. So I'm going to trim it off just on the back side of the mirror very carefully. I'm going to come down, get this piece out of the way. So now we can pivot the mirror again. Okay. We've got to finish off more of this. Now with as hard as I'm pulling, I'm going to show you that I've actually damaged the film, but only in the areas that I had my fingers because I was pulling so hard and the tension was, was uh, so stiff. So it's actually a little bit white haze right here. And it's just because it's overstretched. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, um, but I'm letting you know that it's there. And that's because I overstretched it in that area. And that's what will happen if you overstretch any part of the mirror. So having ex excess material is super important. You put your hands behind the excess material. That way you don't put your hands behind the part that's going down on the mirror and you don't damage anything. Okay. I'm just working the film little by little. Separate this. And let's just cut off this excess right here right now. That way it doesn't overlap anymore. I gotta finish off the inside of the mirror now. This is kind of the more difficult part because it curves a lot. I'm not sure how Andrew will be able to get the camera in here, but it's gonna be a little difficult for him. I'm gonna add heat. And I'm just adding tension to the film. I'm not killing it with stretch. What I want, I'm adding tension to the film so I can get rid of some of these wrinkles. So you see me kind of wiggle the film like this. That's just because I'm trying to work it around without adding too much stretch. Sorry. You're good. Okay, so we're getting there. I see the knifeless tape line. If we overstretch this area, it's gonna pull back and it's also gonna look poor from where it meets the inlay on the inside. So, I'm just going to post heat it before I do the knifeless tape, because so I'm over it. I'm going to go a little bit more, actually.
once I'm done this, I'm going to show you how the film is cut using knifeless tape. Because a lot of brands like Avery or Arlon or Hexus, they're chrome frays when you use knifeless on it. And I'm actually using knifeless, I'm not using wrap cut. You can use either. I, I like wrap cut because it's actually very strong, but it doesn't bend quite as easily as knifeless does. Okay, just making sure we're fully covered. All right, so now you can see, and we'll give you a good look here. And other than some fingerprints on the mirror, like that right there, I'll get rid of that. There's no hazing, there's no damaging. It looks great. It's gonna last, because now we're gonna tuck it around all these edges. We're gonna post heat everything like we should, and it's gonna look, it's gonna look crisp. So, let me find the knifeless tape. Which is right down here. And I'll move this. One second here. The knifeless tape's bunched up on the bottom, just making sure it's straight. Okay, and it's right, kicking around right there. So, with the knifeless, we take it, we pinch it on the edge of the film, move that out of the way, we pinch it on the edge of the film, take the knifeless tape, and pull it, and let Andrew get the camera focused in there, and we just pull it all the way down. I'm gonna grab the bottom of it so that it doesn't slide all the way through. We're gonna remove the excess film. We're gonna remo remove the knifeless tape. I'm gonna smooth everything out. And then I want Andrew to show you the seam that we have going on right there. So have a look at that. It's not very noticeable, right? That's because this is chrome and chrome hides the seam very well. Um, it's also got a clear adhesive. So if you look at the backside, it's not gray, it's not white, it's clear. And, it's, and on top of it, it's super thin. So it's not really gonna show that line very much. That line also needs to face backwards. So in case I didn't mention that, you want that line to face backwards because if you put this inlay in um, after you do the mirror cap, that seam's gonna be facing the wind and all the elements, the rain, the snow, wherever you live, and it's gonna cause it to most likely lift. So for durability purposes, we want to make sure that it's, it's underneath the main piece. So I'm gonna finish off all of this, and I'm going to trim up everything. So just adding a bit of heat to soften it and get it around. I don't want to kill it. And what this does is this is, this is the post heat for this film, essentially, because we can't take this film up to 200 degrees or 190 degrees. We'll burn it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm activating the adhesive, softening the film so that we can contour it the rest of the way around, and that's, and that's more or less it. So once I get it all the way around, I'm going to trim everything off. trim. I'm just trimming on the back side of the little edge that's right here. And try not to get in your way. We always want our corners to look good so we're gonna trim off super close to this corner here. We need to figure out where we're going with this film right now so because it has to tuck in slightly. Okay. Get rid of that. 
So we can see that that corner, actually once I pull the film away, you'll be able to see it better. Once I add a little more heat, I'll round that corner off really nicely, but that's how it should very much look. But when we push this, this light back in, it's gonna be flush and bang on. So I'm being extra careful. I'm not quite trimming on the back side of that edge, I'm just floating the blade through very carefully so I can tuck some film underneath. Now one thing that might happen is we might have issues putting this light back in because of the thickness and, and because of the fitment of the light itself. So if the light is super snug, we're going to have a, a bit of an issue. So we might have to trim it back a little bit more. I'm going to trim right here in the recess. Get all this out of the way. And I'm going to post heat and go over everything right now. I can actually tuck this up and in there, which is nice. Get it right out of the way. You hit the bottom a little bit here. A little air in there. There we go. Okay. A little bit in here. All right, so I'm gonna have Andrew walk around the mirror to show you what that looks like. So we can see we're in slightly on this edge. So when we push this light back, we're flush, we're bang on. If the film happens to pop out like it is a little bit of the top here, we're gonna trim it off. That means that just means we have a little excess or we can try to push that in a little further. But like I said, this light fits super tight. So this is the reason why I had to loosen it because I couldn't get, actually get the film in there far enough to have complete coverage. So there, I just pushed it in, we're good, we're flush everywhere, it's flush, and we have no white showing. The film has a complete mirror finish all the way through. Top, we have a mirror finish on the top, so if Andrew wants to go over the top and show you my hands, we can see that reflection, we can see the reflection all the way down on this side too. So we have complete clarity even around this corner right here. So we can see the reflections are great. We have no damage on the film. Anyways, uh, that's how we do a mirror cap in Chrome. Uh, for more videos, please follow me guys. Check out Instagram if you haven't already, it's CK Wraps. Uh, we have our Facebook page, Instagram will show you some detailed pictures of the corners and things like that if you're interested in seeing any of that. Uh, also upcoming projects, we don't post everything that we do on YouTube, but for the most part we do, especially the DIY stuff. Um, but when we don't do any DIY stuff and sometimes when projects are complete, we don't post them on, on YouTube at all. So to see completed projects, projects, uh, visit our Facebook or Instagram. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, for those of you who are subscribed already, thank you very much. Anyways, take care everyone.